But let's talk about discipline. This is important. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. Hey, y'all. Excuse me while I get myself together. Um, I want to share something. Share something with you guys. But I got to pull up the posts. Okay, there it goes. I was about to get mad. I was about to get angry. Um, anyways, so um, I put a post in like the community post on YouTube. Um, so if you don't look at those, you probably should start there's some good information in there if you want to I ain't gonna tell you what to do though um anyways last week it said uh hey y'all sometimes i get autism related questions from caregivers with younger kids from ages two to five however during that time i was co-parenting with my mother um stacy's grandma and she was with him more than me well she's agreed to do an interview so get y'all questions ready you can type them in the comments or email them to me at um shay and stacy at gmail that's my business email i ain't changing it okay even though it's not uh shay and stacy no more i ain't changing it anyways so some of y'all did comment and i appreciate y'all because i read them and i was like oh, okay i can actually answer some of this I can actually answer some of this. Um, but the main one I wanted to answer is from Gold Paper Clips. Gold Plate. Gold Paper Clips. Say that three times fast. Gold play, 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 play. Said it so fast you didn't hear it. Um, they say, let's talk about discipline. Question mark. What's right and what's wrong? I know every child is different. I just would like some insight on this. My son is four, autistic and extremely smart. He is verbal and his favorite word is no. So go paper clips. Let's, let's, let's talk about discipline. This is important. Okay. And in order to talk to y'all about discipline, because I'm, I'm a factual person. I'm a literal person. So I, I like to get literal when I'm talking about my opinion. I first have to define the word discipline. Uh, a noun, the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. Um, so since this is my video, this is all my opinion. And you can take my opinion to be whatever it is um, to you. But it's just my opinion is what I'm saying. I'm not claiming it to be no expert of nothing. Okay, I'm only an expert of my experience with my child. So with that being said, this to me means, discipline means the practice of training my son to obey the rules or code of behaviors. I can do this by using punishment to correct disobedience. So that that's what that means to me. And so to answer your question, you know, we've all thought it. We don't want to discipline our kids because they're autistic, because they don't know better. We've all thought it. How I determined what was right and what was wrong is what was right is for the betterment of all of us. It's going to be a positive outcome if this discipline works out to the effect that I want. If it does what it wants to do. You know what I'm trying to say. If it's for the betterment. If it's a positive outcome. In the end. You know, wrong for me is if it causes them harm, unnecessary stress, unnecessary. Okay, because sometimes I got to stress them out to teach them something sometimes. Unnecessary stress or harm, that's wrong to me. Harm could mean like, I mean, I'm not talking about hurt their feelings. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, obviously, physically harming them. That's wrong to me. 
And obviously everybody uh, discipline their child differently. But for me, that was it. Okay. I just felt like I didn't need to do that. That I didn't need it. Unless, you know, there are some unless situations like exceptions. Like, for example, Stacy used to like to um, stick things in socket. I had to, you know, put the little child thing on him. But eventually he learned how to pop those off. So one day I caught him doing it. It, it, it was very quick. My first reaction as a mom, I didn't even think about it. I was like, stop. You know, little pop pop. I had to. I felt like I had to. Because when I was saying cut it out the first time, you know, when I saw him trying to get it off, he won't listen. I had to physically give him and put him somewhere else. And then he, he go using the item. I don't even know what it was. Just too intuitive. Using the item to pry it off, you know. Either way, my opinion is. They got to be um, tailored to the child, each child, because, you know, it's a spectrum. You would have to um, respond with a detailed answer. I wouldn't a discipline in that way, because a lot of my discipline is verbal. Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Make you think, because he's older right now. I really be getting in his mind. What were you thinking when that happened? What was the, you know what I'm saying? I would be trying to do that. But that's not the type of discipline I would use on Stacey. I would cater it to him. He needs yes and no answers. You know? He needs, I, I don't ever ask him, why did you do something? He's not going to answer. Um, when I... You know, talk to Stacy after a you know discipline section. Mine is verbal. That's how I do it. But when I'm doing, I I have to cater it to him. So cater it to your child. Or when is like the right age to start discipline? And my opinion. Now this is just my opinion. And don't get mad at me. Some of y'all gonna get mad anyway. Some of y'all don't. It don't matter what I say. I, I can say the sky is blue. Y'all going to be like, uh-uh, it's sky blue. Okay? So, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. I feel like you can discipline a baby in a way. Okay? Don't get mad at me. In a way. Because we already do it. We already do it. It's teaching, remember? It's teaching. If a baby is doing something that we would rather them not, or if we think they're about to harm themselves, what do we do? We correct them. We correct them or we get them out of that spot, reset them. We do something. It's teaching. That's teaching and it's training. I'm pointing at my computer right now because I'm looking at the definition. The practice of training. People to obey. In this case, the practice of training babies. Think about it. Have you done it? I did. We had to. We had to keep their little self safe. They ain't had no sense. They didn't know better. We had to teach them. So what age? What age is okay? A baby. That's my answer. <laughs> That's my answer. You just have to keep in mind it's a baby. Okay? And cater the discipline to the baby. And then when they get five, you cater the discipline to the five-year-old. Okay? That's my opinion. I stands on it. Okay? I said what I said. I'm not taking it back either. <laughs>